Now, you may have recalled that before drawing shear force diagrams, bending moment diagrams for further analysis, you would need values such as RBY and RCY to draw your force di to, to draw your forces on a beam. All right. So let's do CBD once again here and you could use RCY. Okay, these are all the vertical forces you'd have calculated R by okay and you would have known the values oh, right here which was given to you is 0 0.6 kilonewton now moving back to rcy you would have noticed that rcy is moving somewhat downwards which means the actual direction for rcy would have been downwards all right with the values calculated right here so these are the magnitudes okay that you could calculate from the resultant forces and the directions can be seen from your force polygon. So with this, you can draw your shear force diagram so it go down, up and down again. All right? And with the shear force diagram, you could easily move on to drawing your bending moment diagram and then later check for uh, bending stresses or shear stresses. Now, if you are still not quite comfortable with the force polygon method, the old technique which you have learned um, in your first year, you may have seen the internal pin technique whereby we split the two members at point B all right, and drawing them separately with, with forces on it. All right? So you would still be using these equations of equilibrium, sum of moment um, at any point equals to zero, sum of forces in the x and y direction equals to zero. And that would lead you to solving six equations and determining all these components of reactions. And if you were to find the resultant, okay, keeping in mind that Ra right here has the same magnitude of Rb, if you will notice, Rbx and Rax has the same magnitude, but they are acting in opposite directions. You could also determine the angles. Okay, Earlier on, we were looking at um, theta b. All right, so theta b can be calculated from these values using arctangent um, formulas right here. So if you're more comfortable using this technique, please go ahead. But it will take longer for you to do these calculations. Now, let me highlight the fact that the internal force on member AB is actually equal to the resultant reactions that you've calculated for RA and RB which is at 2 kN. Moving on to member CBD right here, right? Um, basically you would see that there's a bending effect on member CBD. So in this diagram right here, I have drawn member CBD with the reactions that you have found earlier on, 0 0.6, 1.2 and 0 0.6. So using Macaulay's method, you could actually generate an equation, a general equation for this beam. And if I were to draw a shear force diagram, it would go down by 0 0.6 and it would go up by 1.2, coming back to 0. Okay, so at this value, this is 0 0.6 kilonewton. This is negative 0.6 kilonewton. So this is your shear force diagram. And with that, you could also draw your bending moment diagram. And it would look something like this, which peaks in the middle. Okay. And to calculate this value right here, you need to substitute x equals to this distance. I believe this is 2 meters. So x equals to 2 meters. And using Macaulay's method, all right, you would have found that this is equal to 1.2 kilonewton meter, and that would be your maximum bending. So this is at 1.2 kilonewton meter, giving you the bending moment diagram. And then you can use this to move on to calculating maximum bending stresses and all sorts of things.